this is Dio. This is the sixth lecture of the Dio Navi Surgical Manual series, How to Take a Scan of an Edentulous Case. Let's start. Today we are going to talk about scanning methods for an edentulous case. There are four different methods, and at the end I will explain how to use the scan retractor as well. If you have an intraoral scanner in your clinic, you can get the oral scan data with the patient's denture or wax denture. If you don't have the intraoral scanner, you can get the data with plaster cast of wax denture or splint. First of all, we are going to learn how to scan the patient's denture with an intraoral scanner. If there is an intraoral scanner and a fabricated denture model in the dental clinic, you can get the oral scan data with the patient's denture. First step is to realign the interior of the denture with the impression material. Then, attach markers on the denture's exterior. The third step is to scan the teeth and the interior areas where the markers are attached. The next step is to place the denture with the marker attached inside of the mouth. After that, scan the bite with the denture firmly placed and finally, scan the CT of the denture in the patient's mouth. Let's look at a video about scan. Here are the precautions for merging the CT data and the scanning data. First of all, please check the marker position. At this moment, the markers should be in three locations. One on the interior tooth section 
and the other two on the molar areas on both sides. And the marker should be attached closely to the border part of the denture. Secondly, check if the red line of the CT and the yellow line of the scanner are overlapping one another. And then, scan the inside of the denture thoroughly. Now we are going to talk about scanning methods if the dental clinic has both oral scanner and wax denture. First of all, immerse the wax denture in hot water for about 10 seconds. Then insert the wax denture inside the patient's mouth and form into the shape of the individual patient's oral cavity. Third, insert the impression material inside of the wax denture. Next, place the wax denture inside the patient's oral cavity with the marker or a flow resin attached. After that, scan both inner and exterior sides of the wax denture and the posing teeth. Then finally, take the CT with the wax denture fitted in the patient's mouth. Here is a video about using a wax denture. Next, I will explain how to scan the dentureless case when the dental clinic has plaster model and wax denture. First of all, attach marker or flow resin in the oral cavity using histoacryl. Then, scan with the CT. And third, produce a plaster model by taking impression. Please be careful so that resin or marker doesn't fall off while taking impression. Next. Immerse in hot water for 10 seconds. After that, insert inside the patient's oral cavity to form the shape of the interior and check the bite. And lastly, send all the maxilla mandibular plaster model and wax denture to Dionavi Center. This is a video that shows the methods to attach markers or floor resin using hysteroacryl.
explain to you how to scan an edentulous case when the dental clinic has a plaster model and a splint. First of all, send the finished maxillomandibular plaster model to Dionabi Center. Then, Dionabi Center will send you the manufactured splint. When you receive the splint, check the occlusion. And then, scan the CT data with a splint fitted in the patient's mouth. As you can see in the circled pictures, the left indicates that the splint is well placed, the right indicates that the splint is misplaced. We will now learn about the scan retractor. There are two types of scan retractors. One is for maxillary and other is for mandibular. The scan retractor reduces time by removing any hindering sources at scanning stage with an increased accuracy of scanned data in an edentulous case. There are three roles of the scan retractor. First, it helps recognize the maxillary palate clearly. And second, scan retractor controls the movement of the tongue and cheek of mandibular. And last, it controls the point in the oral scanner. Let's go over the precautions when using a scan retractor. First of all, it will be very difficult to scan if the palate of the patient is excessively flat. Secondly, the scan retractor must be still and you must be aware of an excessive distension or compression of soft tissue. Thirdly, when scanning, the patient must breathe through the nose and stand very still. This is it for today. Thank you for listening. This was Theo.